What's up you guys welcome back to my channel bienvenidos a mi canal so guys i just realized the other day that i have not made a cooking video in a long time and i'm like what the heck girl i'm slacking so today i'm going to be bringing you guys along with me we are going to be making a dessert that's right we're going to be making a bomb ass freaking dessert and um it's going to be super quick super easy this is a dessert that my coworker, shout out to Sarah if you're watching this video, she um, she brought this dessert to work one day. It was someone's birthday and girl, the day that I saw that thing, I was like, I'm gonna have to make this. I need to learn how to make this and I'm gonna record it and I'm gonna show you guys because it was so, so good. So this dessert is, like I said, super easy, super quick when you don't have time to make a delicious cake. And if you haven't already watched my video on how to make a delicious cake, super is easy recipe. I will be uh, sharing my link above, that way I can watch that video. But anyways, so this dessert is called a strawberry pretzel salad. Trust me guys, it's a bomb, okay? So the bottom layer is pretzels, middle layer is cream, cheese, top layer is strawberry jello, mmm, with fresh strawberries, girl, let me tell you. Let me tell y'all guys, it is so, so good. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. So this is everything that we need for today's recipe. For the crust, we will be using pretzels, butter, and sugar. For our middle filling, we will be using cream cheese with Cool Whip. And for the top layer, we will be using the strawberry jello and fresh strawberries. And fun fact guys, you can actually use frozen strawberries but I happen to have fresh strawberries on hand, so that's what we will be using today. Miren quien se despertó. Se despertó este bebé hermoso. Se despertó. <laughs> All right, so first thing first, make sure to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And I forgot to mention we will be using this glass pan. This is a 9.5 by 13.5. So for the first step, what we want to do is make sure to boil some water and all of the uh, if I forget to mention any kind of measurement for any ingredient I will have everything on the description box down below so make sure to check that out that way you know exactly how much you need of everything okay so right now I boiled two cups of water and I'm going to go ahead and mix this gelatina on there so we want to make sure this step goes first because since it is going to be the top layer and it is pretty much, you know, boiling hot water. We wanna make sure there's enough time for it to cool down before we put it on top of the cream cheese. So now that this is mixed well, everything has dissolved, I'm gonna put it aside. Okay guys, a couple of things. So if you're using frozen strawberries and you don't really care how the strawberry, the top layer looks, um, then you can go ahead and mix your strawberries with the jello and let it sit and let it cool down because that will be the last step. But if you're like me and want your strawberries to look pretty over the dessert, you can wait. That's what I did. I'm gonna wait for this uh, gelatina to cool down and then when I apply it, then I'll place my strawberries one by one because I wanna make sure it looks pretty. You will know what I'm talking about once we get to this point and I will remind you, I promise. So the next step is we're gonna go ahead and make our crust. So I have here um, pretzels. And what I'm gonna do is we need to make two cups of crushed pretzels. So these are not crushed, obviously. These are still enteros. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush them. So let's do that. Okay, so now we have one cup and we need one more cup. All right guys, so here I have my two cups of crushed pretzels. And as you can tell, it's all different sizes on my pretzels. Some of them are super, super crushed and some of them are still not as crushed. And that's okay, it's really just preference on how crushed you want your pretzels to be. And to be honest, I'm okay with this, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and move along. So this is my two cups of crushed pretzels. So we're gonna go ahead and mix my butter. So we have three fourths cup of butter, melted butter, of course. We're gonna go ahead and mix this. We want 
three tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna mix that. Okay, so now that this is mixed well, we're gonna go ahead and start making our base, our crust. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this on here. Okay, so now that I have packed it all together, I'm gonna go ahead and place in the oven for eight minutes, okay? <laughs> He's mine. Time's up. Time to take that baby out the oven. Ooh, she's looking pretty. Woo! So that's gonna be our bottom layer. Yum, yum, yum. Looks so good so far. ¿Listo? ¿Qué estás comiendo? <laughs> Boy, you got crumbs all over your face. Ay, te metiste todo el, toda la galleta en la boca, niño. Te vas a ahogar, Minzo. Te vas a ahogar. Te vas a ahogar, mozo. All right, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and do the middle filling. So what we're going to use is Cool Whip. And this is an eight ounce pack. And we're also going to be using this cream cheese. And this is just one, I believe, eight ounce as well. So we're going to go ahead and open these up. And then we're going to start mixing, okay? All right, so now we have both the cream cheese and the Cool Whip, and we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of sugar. And then we're gonna go ahead and start mixing. So this is mixed, and we're gonna go ahead and add it to our dish. Guys, look how pretty she is. She smells good, she looks good. That means she's gonna be good. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, so this is what she's looking like. So we are going to go ahead and start spreading that all over the crust, okay? So let's get to that. All right guys, so this part is very important because we wanna make sure she is very well sealed. So you'll understand why I'm saying this in a few minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and spread this all over. Okay, you guys, this part right here is like the most important part of everything, okay? Wait, my little cricket. Oh, she's falling, she's falling. One second, I'm having technical difficulties here. Okay, guys, so this part right here is the most important part of every step, okay? So what you wanna make sure is that the cream cheese is very well sealed. What I mean by that is we wanna make sure the cream cheese is has sealed all around of the glass all around on the glass pan because by the time you pour your gelatina the jello if there are any areas that have like a pocket or like a little hole it's gonna go down into the crust and you do not want that you want to make sure you <laughs> you want to make sure you have your crust cream cheese and then a jello layer okay so like I said, this is a very, very important part. So right now what I did is I went all over the dish, make sure everything was very well sealed, and then I'll pour my gelatina. But let me show you guys what it looks like. So I went around, made sure there was no holes. Everything is very well sealed, no bubbles. I don't see the crust. I don't see any of the pretzels peeking through. So this is what I want for it to look like, so. This is what it's looking like so far. This is the second layer. You can see the crust on the bottom and then you have the cream cheese on top. Okay, so by this point, your jello should be already starting to thicken up and it should be cool enough for you to go ahead and pour on top. If it's not, you can also put it in the refrigerator that way it can start to thicken up. But to mine, I just checked it and it's ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and add that as a top layer. So I normally use like a soup spoon, 
I want a cuchara que esté onda, but I guess it grows some feet because I don't know where it's at. So I'm gonna use this little one fourth cup uh, measuring cup, and then I'm gonna slowly pour it onto the dish. Okay, so if you would have mixed your strawberries with your jello, you would have already been done by now. But like I said earlier, if you are like me and are very OCD about this, I want to make sure my strawberries are perfectly aligned. So I went ahead and chopped up, chopped up my or sliced up my strawberries, so very, very thin slices. And I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing them all over the gelatina for my top layer. Look at this guys, this is what she is looking like. She looks so good, look at that. So we have our crust, our cream cheese, and then the gelatina on top. She is beautiful. So that's why I like to do the strawberries this way. Is that pretty much is it. That, like I said, it's super simple, super quick and easy. All I have to do right now is just make sure to refrigerate it for four to six hours before serving it. And that's it guys. Super simple, super easy and quick. And let me tell you, I promise you, you are going to love it guys. I promise you. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you agree that this recipe was bomb.com, okay? So let me go ahead and refrigerate that and then I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay, so tips. Now that that is finished, I wanted to also mention that it is very, very important that you make sure that the uh, cream cheese is very well sealed around your dish. Make sure there are no pockets. You can't see the pretzels um, through the cream cheese because I just feel like if you can see it, then most likely there's a small little hole and the gelatina is gonna go through there. So yeah, we wanna make sure that the cream cheese is very well sealed. Also, you wanna make sure that the jello has cooled down enough because if it's still hot, it can actually melt your cream cheese and we do not want that, okay? So we wanna make sure it's chilled. You can even put it in the refrigerator if you would like while you're doing everything else just to make sure it has chilled and it may even thicken up a little bit and that's okay, that's what we want, that's good. Okay guys, this is the final product. It has been in the refrigerator for four hours. Look at these layers, they look bomb.com. So this is what it looks like on top and I'm gonna go ahead and have a piece with you guys, that way y'all can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like on the inside. You can see the crust, where the pretzels are at. And then the inside, the middle, is the cream cheese. And then the top layer is your jello. Look at that. It looks so good. Of course, the first piece is never as pretty. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a piece with you guys. Se les va a hacer agua la boca, nomás les estoy avisando desde ahorita. Mm, 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 mm. Not because I made it, but guys, this is so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys here because it's good. It's so good. <laughs> Para que no se la salga un grano en la boca, eh? All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. <laughs> hey. Te amo. Amo. ¿Cuánto? ¿Mucho? Mucho, eh. Te amo mucho, papi. Mando a T-Rex. Este no es T-Rex. Guys, look at Easy's foot. Te amo. Amo. Ah. Apple. ¿Quieres apple juice? No, apple juice. Ok, no, vamos a después. Te amo. Amo. Y mucho. Ok, vamos. Vamos. Ay, es el niño. Se nota que estaba comiendo. Estaba comiendo. Okay, let's go, let's go.